with the heavy amounts of this freezing rain being in Illinois, it looks like you're getting over six tenths of an inch of freezing rain. So that that accumulates to some freezing ice. It could be very uh, slippery roads. It could be some power outages coming out with that. Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It is Wednesday, January 20th. So I hope you have a great day today. God bless every single one of you today. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Hope everything comes very easy for y'all. Now we do have an update as far as the information on the storm. That is coming. It is bringing still heavy snowfall and some fast winds. Uh, let me update you with everything that is going on. But as you can notice here, this is the North Atlantic Oscillation. Just let you know which way that the jet stream is going. And it is going towards a negative uh, tilt once we get from January 23rd to the 26th. And that's when this next uh, major winter storm is going to be hitting the central U.S. and the East Coast. Now, yesterday, it did show this as a neutral or a little bit towards a positive. But this morning, it did update that it's showing as going towards a negative tilt. Now, it does go positive once it hits after the 26th. But by then, it's already going to be in the Atlantic Ocean. So that's not going to affect anybody. But instead of going straight across like it did yesterday and affecting the north uh, east with heavy snowfall, it is taking a more southern dip uh, on the 25th and towards the 26th, and it's going to be less uh, than it showed yesterday. It's going to be the same amount of snowfall, but it's a little bit uh, southern as far as the impacts. Now, this shows you your surface low pressures, and I'm going to show you as according to the Euro. I also am showing that the CMC model is exactly as the Euro is showing. But as far as the GFS is showing, the GFS is showing that this storm uh, really phases out. There is a high pressure that will be coming in and will be blocking it from going any further north. And that's why this storm has stayed on a more central track and not a north to northeast track because that high pressure does block it. But however, the GFS shows that it just fizzles out to nothing, which is just plum crazy because all the other models show that this is going to be a storm and it is going to be moving across. But if you look at the Euro, you'll see the same track, but except instead of heading more northern here, it stays straight across uh, the East Coast because of this high pressure blocking it right here, stopping it from going any further uh, to the north. Now, as you can see, as it gets into Tuesday on the 26th, it does take that southern track. It don't it don't head north. Uh, it stays straight across across the Carolinas, across Virginia, and it heads out by the 26th on Tuesday. And the snowfall is also concurring with this track. It's showing also heavy snowfall in the southwest. I will go over that with you as well. As far as the Midwest, it's showing that it's a little bit lighter snowfall than it showed yesterday. However, the CMC model, which is still showing the same track as the Euro, I will show you that, does show that this is, in fact, going to be heavy snowfall for, I for southern Iowa, northern Missouri, also for eastern Nebraska and northeast Kansas. And it's, now it shows that the heaviest snowfall is now going to be in Virginia, Maryland, southern New Jersey, and eastern uh, West Virginia. Now, starting in the west, you can see in the northwest, it does drop heavy snowfall for many people. A lot of this heavy snowfall is in the mountains. It is in the high altitude region. But a lot of, air, of, of ground level is going to see anywhere from one to four inches of snowfall. It depends where you at. And some elevations do have three to six uh, inches and seven for some people. Now, a lot of this is higher elevations, but a lot of this is not. So some people will see some good snowfall out of this. And the snow in the southwest is even heavier than the northwest. I mean, some higher elevation shows that you're getting up to three feet of snowfall. This is higher elevations, but that is still three feet of snowfall. <laughs> that is a lot. So Northern California is going to be getting hit hard with this snowstorm, and they're going to be getting a lot of snow out of this, uh, as well as uh, New Mexico. You're going to get a lot of New Mexico. You're going to get a lot in Arizona. Colorado is going to get up to uh, higher elevations. You're going to get up to 17, 18 inches. But the rest of y'all is going to get anywhere from two to six inches, even eight inches in some spots. This is pretty heavy snowfall. Also for Utah, Utah is going to be getting a lot of snowfall as well. So as higher elevations goes up to two feet, but lower elevations goes anywhere from two to 10 inches. So there's going to be a lot of snowfall across the West with the, with the system. Now, as you can see here, it did take a more Southern track. Yesterday it showed only half 
of of uh, Illinois, Iowa, uh, uh, Ohio, and Indiana was getting snowfall. Now it's lowered down to a little more southern. And we also got a lot of freezing rain that we need to worry about with this. I will, I will update you on that. But it does have heavier impacts for southern Ohio, which it did not have yesterday. So the southern uh, push and an update is a good thing for these people that want to see snowfall. However, it is going to affect the north east uh, differently than yesterday now here's a good look for the midwest you can see michigan gets anywhere from two to four inches five inches in northern michigan uh, wisconsin is going to be anywhere from one to three inches in this area with the heaviest still being in southern iowa with up to five and six inches of snowfall which is still a good bit of snowfall uh, for anybody six inches is a lot of snowfall and as you see on the east coast the system has moved down from pennsylvania uh, from New York across Connecticut and has moved a little more southern because of that block from the high pressure. So it's showing that northern Virginia is going to get very heavy snowfall. We got up to 16 inches in some spots for northern, northern Virginia. That is a lot. Also, western Maryland is going to get over a foot of snow. So this is a new track of the foot of snow. It is going to go of the feet of snow. It is going to go over eastern of West Virginia, northern Virginia and southern maryland mostly southwest maryland and a little bit on southern new jersey as well and as you can see for the northeast where the foot of, over a foot of snow was it did take the more southern track and now y'all be getting just a sprinkle of snowfall mostly because of the warm temperature that's coming off the atlantic ocean but you can see it did take that southern track and it is going across virginia and maryland and I am showing that the heaviest snowfall would actually be in West Virginia, East West Virginia, and it would be up to 20 inches in this one area of where it's going to be localized. Heavy precipitation, heavy snowfall, 20 inches is a lot of snow. And everyone else in North Virginia is definitely going to be over a foot of snow. Even uh, Southern Maryland and Southern New Jersey is going to get on some snowfall. It's just not going to be as heavy as it was yesterday. But Northern Virginia looks like it's going to be very heavy snowfall. And as you can see, for, for New Jersey, that it is going to be South New Jersey that is going to be seeing the snowfall. It's going to go from three inches and dramatically down to eight inches on the very southern tip of New Jersey. So Southern New Jersey so far is going to be seeing some snowfall. But anywhere north of that, very, very light, quarter of an inch. Now, if you start from the five days out, because this is going to be five to seven days away, you can see how the system does form up over Texas. Uh, it does move across Oklahoma. It does move across Kansas and goes across Arkansas and Missouri. Now, if you look at the CMC model, it's showing the same thing. It's showing that it will go across to this point. And as you follow it through, this is Monday on January 25th. You see it does take that eastern push. That's because of the block from the high pressure up here. And if you go from the uh, all the way to the east coast, you can see where it hits. It stays a little bit southern. It wants to ease up on the high pressure a little bit. So it might take a little bit more of a northern turn at the last second. But I believe it will be in the ocean by the time that happens. But still, if you look at the CMC model, it is concurring the same thing. That it, this is, the, in fact, the track that the storm is going to be moving on. It is exactly hour for hour exact information as the euro is showing the cmc model is the same this is the euro this is the cmc they're showing the same track guys and the cmc model it concurs that it will have uh, northern virginia uh, west virginia it's, it's even showing southern pennsylvania still going to be in a heavy snowfall as well as as maryland and southern new jersey getting some snow but the heavy spot is still showing right here just like the euro is showing also, it is showing for southern Iowa, uh, northern Missouri, uh, eastern Nebraska, uh, northern Kansas, that is still going to be showing that it's going to be getting a foot of snowfall still in this region. So the CMC model is showing that this is still the same, almost the same from yesterday. It's a little bit more southern, but it is showing the same amounts, and it is showing that it's still going to be a heavy snowfall for right here as well. So if you take a closer look at the Canadian model, you will see that Nebraska will see all the way up to 10 to 12 inches of snowfall with the heaviest amount being around 12 and 13 inches. Uh, but for southern Iowa, it shows that it will be somewhere around 7 to 10 inches and 10 inches would be on the southwest side uh, and northwest side 
for Missouri will be anywhere from 6 to 8 inches. Uh, Kansas is showing northern will be anywhere from 8 to 11 inches, but it's showing that the heaviest will be in southeast Nebraska with over a foot of snow. And it's still concurring that northern Virginia, Maryland, southern Pennsylvania, y'all are going to be seeing anywhere from 8 to 10 inches of snowfall. And plus you have the lake effect snow that's getting still over a foot of snow for western New York. And we're talking over a foot more of snow. They already got 21 inches just in the last couple of days. And then again, you do have still the freezing rain. The freezing rain is going to go all the way from Kansas all the way to uh, Virginia. And you're talking about a lot of freezing rain that is coming with this event. With the heavy amounts of this freezing rain being in Illinois, it looks like you're getting over six tenths of an inch of freezing rain. So that that accumulates to some freezing ice. It could be very uh, slippery roads. It could be some power outages coming out with that. But right in between this, you have rainfall on the south side. You're going to have snow on the north side. And this freezing rain right on this mixed precipitation line, there's going to be a lot of freezing rain. Now, on the south side of this storm, not only is there going to be rain, there's going to be a lot of, of wind gusts. And this is 10 meters from the ground. This is a lot of heavy winds that's going to be coming with the system. And these are in knots. So remember, to change knots to miles per hour, all you do is divide it by 6 and add that to the knot number. And all these 50 and 55 miles per hour, well, uh, 50 uh, knot winds, you can tell will be 60 to 65 miles per hour wind gusts that will be coming with this storm, especially for South Carolina and North Carolina. Uh, anywhere from Louisiana uh, to Arkansas, all the way across to Alabama, Georgia, Mississippi, Tennessee, y'all going to be seeing anywhere from 50 to 55 miles per hour wind gusts coming out of this event. Plus, you got the precipitation. This is literally going to start within the next 24 hours with this first system for the south. In 24 hours, the rain is going to start moving in. And you can see for the next two to three days, it's going to be putting heavy rainfall anywhere from eastern Texas all the way to the edge, uh, western edge of Alabama. Of Alabama. I'm sorry, uh, Georgia, because Alabama, Mississippi, y'all are all going to be in this heavy rainfall. This is going to be anywhere from one to three inches of heavy rainfall it is going to be a lot and then when the second system comes through you see it also is going to bring heavy rainfall also on the south side of the system for arkansas all the way up to kentucky with the heaviest uh, precipitation going to be in kentucky and then the south side of illinois indiana and ohio will be heavy rainfall with the with the freezing rain in between with the snow on top of that. So it's going to be a lot of heavy precipitation coming with this. Could be some flash flooding coming out of this system as well. Now the first system when you see come within the next five days of rainfall, you will have anywhere from one to three inches. Three inches being very heavy for central U uh, Louisiana. And it's going to go all the way to, to Georgia with the heaviness stopping right around Alabama. Georgia, you'll be anywhere from one and a half to two inches, but it'll get anywhere from two to three inches from eastern Texas all the way to Alabama. That's a lot of heavy rainfall. And then the second system that moves through, you have anywhere from two inches to three inches all the way from arkansas all the way to over three inches for kentucky which is a lot of precipitation this is going to be some flash flooding in this area from all this rainfall also also we have high wind warnings i mean northern northern colorado also southern wyoming we have high wind warnings guys and we're talking that uh, winds could be anywhere from 65 miles per hour wind gusts and it can get all the way to 80 to 70 and 80 miles per hour wind gusts is possible for Wyoming. So this is very dangerous. And this is going to be in effect all the way until tomorrow for 6 a.m. So please be aware of that you also got high wind warnings uh, for northern Dakota as well. So this is going to be an issue with this wind, guys. And it's already starting uh, today as and going into tomorrow. Now, I'm going to play this for you so you can see exactly what the next 60 hours is going to be because it will be a big event of the rainfall and storms in the south. That way you can see as it comes. The time and date is on the top left so you can see exactly when this rainstorm is going to come to y'all guys because it is going to be a lot of rainfall like I showed you. It's going to be anywhere from 1 to 3 inches with this storm. Now, God bless you all today. I really, I really mean that. I hope you all have a great and wonderful day today. Amen. The Lord's alive. We're alive another day to enjoy and praise God. So we should we should do that as so, guys. Revelations 15. And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, 
for in them is filled up the wrath of God. And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast, and over his image, and over his mark, and over the number of his name, stand on the sea of glass, having the harps of God. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints. Who shall not fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name? For thou only art holy. For all nations shall come and worship before thee, for thy judgments are made manifest. And after that I looked. And behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was opened. And the seven angels came out of the temple, having the seven plagues, clothed in pure and white linen, and having their breasts girded with golden girdles. And one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels seven golden vials full of the wrath of God, who liveth for ever and ever. And the temple was filled with smoke from the glory of God and from his power. And no man was able to enter into the temple till the seven plagues of the seven angels were fulfilled. Amen. Bless you all today. You all hope you all have a wonderful day today. Help out others as you can. Share their glory. Share the help, guys. In the south, beware of this rain. It is coming. All glory does go to God. Amen.